everyone i hope you guys are fine and safe at your home so today what we are going to have a look is about this particular shot so let's have a look first so this this tutorial actually divided into three parts so in this part we are going to have a look about the project setup and uh, the tracking part and in the next part we will go in cgi and animation thing which we are we are going to be done in max so let's start so first of all what you have to do is you have to understand the project management as the project management is very important so if you know the way how you can manage your projects it is very useful for you and the other artist who work on it if you leave it in the middle so let's have a look how we can create that so now i had created a main folder in which i had named the short name and in that i had i will add some of the folders like first folder is my plate folder this folder basically consists the raw footage plate and also i'm going to add some more folders like first folder should be match move as it's basically the tracking part so i uh, named it as match move and also i will be creating a new text document as this help me this is a log data so over this area i will just create my a total work progress report this log note will help me to put the track record of my work from where i had started and all so first of all in this log i will add some of the details like uh, i will add a simple comp detail first is fps and i am using 30 fps and also size what size of the footage is so my photo size is 1920 by 1080 so that's it for now let's save it and now i will add the progress whatever the thing we do so for match moving and tracking the camera for the camera track i will be using pf track 2017 so let's open it so here we have the final uh, here we have the ui of uh, pf track over here we can we are going to create the track record of camera or we can say i will be creating a match move or we are setting the grid so that we can send this camera detail to the max or any 3d file and we can add any 3d object over there so let's start so first of all what you have to do is you have to create a project so first of all i'm just creating the project and i will just change this file detail to my match move data and over here i will create track and let's choose it and name it drone underscore track and if i just confirm it my setup is done and now what i have to do is i have to import the footage and we have to start the tracking so i will just go over here and show me the drone i have the plate i will just drag it over here and in the main com now if you see i have a 30 fps but over here you would see this a frame rate is 25 fps what you have to do is you have to change the frame rates first so just change it to 30 that's it so now i have the frame rate which i what i had wanted or what's our frame rate from beginning we had kept and first let the frames buffered or uh, create their catch as i had used any there is no lens distortion and anything so this is a good footage for track out so here we have the footage and you will see the footage this is my whole camera movement so we are going to track this so to track this movement what you have to do is if after you just added the footage over there just simply press uh, simply right click and in tracking go for the auto track and in auto track what we have to do is we have to increase the candidate number around 150 or something or you can increase to around uh 200 let's preview it so here we have the tracking points which are 
uh, generated by the uh, pair track itself i can use user track but the moment is too basic so i'm not going to add that much detail so i'm going with the auto track and let's track the footage just simply hit the auto track button and the tracking gets started and after that we have to solve the camera which means with the help of tracking data computer may analyze the movement of uh, uh, movement of the real camera how it has the footage has shot So as you see, I had completed with the, the auto tracking is completed, but there is a, a bit errors, so we can refine it. So just go in error and you will see there's a graph over here when some of the track points data is going up uh, like this. Let's zoom it a bit. And if I add a trim, you will see a dotted line like this. Just simply just bring it down and keep it like this around 0.5 that's it and you will see the above this dotted line the whole tracking data will get read that means it has deleted the uh, bad tracking data so i just did this to refine my tracking and after that when you are done with the auto track just right click and go in the solve camera and just add a camera solver with the help of this we are generating a camera having the same movement which our real life camera had did so let's uh, hit solve all and here we have the grid you will see it's really working quite good and now if you see this there is a this point is very good and it's stay at the end so let's select this point and you will see there is an option called set origin just hit it and my grid is just aligned to this this grid center is this point so this is a good one and now i have to align this grid with the footage so for that i will just simply click solve and uh, just right click and utility you will find orient scene and it, the help of orient scene just do a bit things like rotate it a bit like this Also, you can add fly and just reduce it like this. And let's check out is my grid is okay and it's perfectly fine. You can also use one more thing to check your track is working good or not is add a test object. So let's add a test object. I will be using a tall mark select add to scene and i will be just placed on selected feature and here we have all mark is working fine also i can just select whatever the point it is and it's good also i can use thumb track add to scene and just add to scene and here we go so my tracking is fine and now we have the camera and now we will export this to max so for that just right click go in export and in this option what you have to do is you have to select the format which you want uh, I will be using uh, max script file so let's select the max script file it's already selected Autodesk 30, 3ds max 2011 script and just select the point where we wanted to add uh, we wanted to save the data mm, let's select the point Drone. move test and underscore track 
just save it also you can do one thing more is you have to just scale the environment a bit around uh, 10 also and just export the scene so here we had in this tutorial we had finished the tracking and in next tutorial we, we're gonna see is how to import the file to 3ds max and add a bit animation so thank you very much guys see you in the next tutorial just after uh, two days